Good morning. I'm in Missouri. I'm riding the Katy Trail. The Katy Trail is about 240 miles and goes across Missouri. It follows the Missouri River most of the way. The Katy Trail from St. Charles to Clinton, Missouri. Yeah, the Katy Trail's nice. Now, the Katy Trail is another one of those awesome rail trails that goes for miles and miles. It crosses almost an entire state. You should be able to cover the entire Katy Trail in about four days. The best part about riding on the rail trail is you don't have to worry about cars. And the Katy Trail boasts that it's the longest rail trail in the country. But I do love a rail trail that goes all the way across a whole state. But I'm just poking along, taking my time, just easing on down the Katy Trail. Now we're in the show me state, so let me show you. I'm riding the Katy Trail across Missouri from St. Charles to Clinton. This is day one, and I'm in Missouri. I'm riding the Katy Trail. Last night I stayed in St. Charles, Missouri, and I'm heading west on the Katy Trail. I'm on my way to Bluffton. It's gonna be about a 75 mile day. So I stayed in St. Charles at the Country Inn and Suites. The nice folks at the Country Inn were kind enough to let me park there for a week. But the Country Inn is very biker friendly. It's right on the Katy Trail. I signed their book and they promised not to tow my car. So that'll work out. The trail's in great shape. And riding along the river early in the morning is peaceful and scenic. I love a rail trail for the isolation and the fact that it takes you out of traffic. The Katy Trail is mostly tree-lined, which means shade and less wind. But the Katy Trail basically follows the Missouri River for part of the way. So we're in Lewis and Clark country. But in 1804, the Lewis and Clark expedition left St. Louis, the gateway to the west, and headed up the Missouri River. In those days, the Missouri River was uncharted territory. That's why it's called an expedition. But those men came back with a lifetime worth of stories to tell. And I know if Lewis and Clark would have had a video camera, they would have made a video too. The Herman area is like the wine country of Missouri. There's lots of vineyards and B&Bs. I had a mighty fine lunch at the Dutso Deli. Well, it's gonna be a hot one today, so it's a good thing that this trail is tree-lined and shaded. Anyway, it's Thursday, July 29th. This is day two on the Katy Trail. Last night I stayed at the Bluffton Barn in Bluffton, hosted by Doug. Doug's a good guy. But it's gonna be another hot one today. Temperatures in the mid 90s with a heat index over 100. So I might stop early today in Jeff City. Just ride in the morning and leave the afternoon for crazy people. I'm supposed to get a break in the weather tomorrow. Temperature's gonna drop by about 10 degrees. But the mosquitoes are eating me alive out here next to the river early in the morning, so I'm gonna get down the road. See you then. We're in Daniel Boone country now. That Daniel Boone sure got around. Yeah, when the heat index gets up around 108, it's time to stop. So I stopped in Jeff City early, sat in an air-conditioned hotel room, ordered a pizza, and watched a movie on cable TV. But the weather's always changing your plans. Good morning, it is Friday, July 30th, and this is day three on the Katy Trail. Going St. Charles to Clinton. Last night I stayed in Jefferson City. Headed to Boonville today. It was about 55, 60 miles, something like that. Jefferson City is the capital of Missouri, and it's on the other side of the Missouri River. So in order to get there, you gotta cross a bridge. But to get up to the same level as the bridge, 
they've built what looks like a spiral staircase for bicycles. Now that's what I call biker friendly. Sometimes the trail is right next to the river and other times it gets away from the river. There are some sections where the trail hugs the base of a cliff right next to the river. So you've got a cliff on one side and the river on the other side. You have a section between McBain and Roachport. It's really nice. Very scenic section of the trail. The downside to some rail trails is that sometimes services like food and lodging aren't easy to find. Services aren't always right next to the trail. So you might have to leave the trail and ride into a town to find what you need. It's a good idea to carry a little extra food and water just in case. Have a little picnic right next to the river. It's a little cooler than yesterday, but it's still pretty warm. See you down the road. It's Saturday, it's July 31st, and this is day four on the Katy Trail. Last night I stayed in Boonville, but I'm having so much fun on the Katy Trail. I might stop early in Sedalia and drag this thing out to five days, or I might go all the way to Clinton and finish up today. It's a short day's ride from Boonville to Sedalia, with just two small towns in between. There's not much in either one, so pack a good lunch in Boonville. But I'm on my way to Sedalia, and I'm probably going to stop there for tonight, make it a short day, and finish this ride in Clinton tomorrow. West of Boonville, the trail changed. I'm away from the river now. The trail got softer and more coarse. Also, it's not very level anymore. Along the river, the trail was pretty level. But now that we're out here in central Missouri, the trail's more up and down. Of course, the hills aren't very steep. They're graded for trains. But when you're going uphill, you really notice it. Yeah, and I want to thank the people of Missouri for putting in the Katy Trail. What an awesome rail trail. They say it's the longest continuous rail trail in America. And I know they take great pride in their trail because it's very well maintained. Morning. Good morning. How's it going? It's going. All right. It's Sunday, August 1st. And this is my fifth day on the Katy Trail. It's gonna be another short day from Sedalia to Clinton, only about 35 miles or so. I originally planned on doing this in four days, but I'm stretching it out to five. From Boonville to Clinton, it's about 75 miles. And I was gonna do that in one day. I decided to split it into two half days. Boonville to Sedalia and then Sedalia to Clinton. Getting to the end of my bike touring season and I just wanted to stretch it out a little longer. But I'm enjoying the trail and that's all that matters. So why hurry? Why push it, you know? Take my time and enjoy the trail. I passed the high point on the trail, 955 feet above sea level. Whew, it's out in the middle of a prairie restoration area. Clinton is the western terminus of the Katy Trail, and I'll be in Clinton today, finishing up the Katy Trail. St. Charles to Clinton, Missouri, getting to the end. I think I'm gonna stay in Clinton tonight, ride back to Sedalia tomorrow, and catch the train. There's an Amtrak train that goes through Sedalia. That'll take me back to Washington, Missouri, which is a half day's ride from St. Charles and my car. But we'll see how that turns out. I love the Katy Trail. It's a mixture of forest and field that crosses most of the state of Missouri. The most scenic parts are along the Missouri River. 
between St. Charles and Boonville. From Boonville, the trail leaves the river and takes you into the heart of rural Missouri, where you'll find quiet and solitude. The Katy Trail's got more variety than some of the other rail trails that I've ridden on. The landscape and the scenery are more varied. It's not just all one thing. The Katy Trail is a classic American adventure trail. If you're into long distance cycling on rail trails, then the Katy Trail's a must do. I highly recommend it. Now's all I gotta do is get home. And thanks for watching. Now go ride your bike.